Welcome to the LibKey Nomad++ Plus Plus update video. As you can see, I am starting out on the web browsers and extensions libguide. The LibKey Nomad++ Plus Plus page has a list of all of the available features. Starting with the most common pop-up, the download PDF one. Here you can also see two new features, the chat integration and citation generator. The chat bubble icon will open LibChat directly in the LibKey Nomad pop-up so that you do not need to open a new page to get assistance. The citations offer a few different options. Please keep in mind that the library only supports Zotero at this time. For Zotero, Mendeley and RefWorks, you will be prompted to log in with your account information. For the others, it is just a direct download to your device. If you accidentally close your pop-up, just refresh the page and it will appear again. Because I'm off campus and I'm not signed in, when I click PDF, the website wants me to pay for the full text of the article. However, if I click download PDF in the LibKey Nomad++ pop-up, then I will be rerouted to the Login for Library Access page, and once I sign in, it'll automatically download the PDF. You will see the Are You Off Campus pop-up if you are off campus and you went directly to a resource instead of getting there through JetFind or the library's A to Z database list. Since I'm not signed in in any way, the website only wants to show me sample videos. However, once I click sign in, I am rerouted to the login for library access screen. I'm an employee, so I clicked that option. I will sign in with my Malloy email credentials. And once that's complete, the page will refresh and I will be able to access the full videos. You will see the available via or the connect pop-up. If you go directly to a resource that the library has limited access to or database access to it instead of through the resources website. You will most likely see this on Harvard Business Review, Wall Street Journal, and the New York Times sites. Once you click on connect, then you will be brought to the login for library access screen. Remember, I just signed in, so I am taken directly into the database. It's one of the EBSCO databases, and I can see the full list for this publication and access the most recent issue. Now let's review some of the still available but classic features of the LibKey Nomad extension. Once again, I went to the website. I'm not logged in, but this article does have a DOI. LibKey recognizes this, gives me the article link option, which is different than the download PDF option because it's not direct. Instead, I'm brought into the database where the library has access to the article, and then I can download it from there. You will see the access options pop up if download PDF or article link are not available. In most instances, if you see access options, it means that we do not have this article in a database. But when you click it, you will be brought to the JetFind page where you can see options. More than likely, you will request the article through interlibrary loan. And a slightly newer classic feature is the ability to link to our eBooks. So if you are on a book buying site such as Amazon and the book you're looking at has an ISBN, then LibKey will search eBook Central and make that connection for you. Just click view ebook. If you're not signed in, you'll have to sign in, but then you'll be brought into the database where the library has access and you can read the book there. And lastly, if you are on Wikipedia or PubMed, you will see the provided by pop-up. What this means is that if there is a list of resources and those resources have identifiers, like a reference list, then you will see the options to download PDF, access options or view ebook, but it will be within the text of the page instead of the pop-up. Lastly, remember you can come back to this LibGuide page to review and good luck becoming a Research Nomad++.